Oh yeah, train is gonna be coming up here, and um, the way that Flipside were playing on that first map, I am pretty worried for uh, for them. Navi just seem to be in good form, and like I said, I don't even think they had to dig all that deep to to get that win. Well, there's a lot of pressure on Navi right now just because of how this break, this group has broken down. They are the top seed in the group, but unlike other top seeds in the past, they didn't just dominate it. It's actually a little touch and go for them right now. They're three and two, so they really need to pick up this last win to secure that top spot in the group moving forward. So, a bit of a, you know, just something to keep in mind here that uh, Navi are not guaranteed to come out first. They really do need this win here against Flipside, and they need it in dominant fashion. Is definitely true. They will be starting on the terrorist side as well on train and a very uh, measured and a careful approach to begin with. Do have a Tech 9 and armor on Edward, which I definitely like. Um, probably be my preferred, my preferred um, pistol combination for him. A couple of smokes as well. Susan seized with uh, one each, so. Could end up in pretty much either bomb side. Like this is not a definitive tell, but um, could go either way. This is just so standard as far as both of these teams are concerned, man. Both of them love to play slow, love to feel the map out. And Navi, they're known for this, they're legendary for this on train in particular. Just sit and wait, take our time, run down that clock, and see if Flipside are going to be the ones to make the play. But again, Flipside, they just don't do that. They're perfectly content to sit way back on the sites. On B site, just trying to abuse the USP, abuse that one-shot headshot. Markloff looking for some shots through the smoke, but Guardian, he's showing himself now. His hand is up. Markloff finds Flamey, though, and it's a man advantage for Flipside. Oh, and then with that shot from Waylander, things are looking very bad for Navi at the moment here. Edward Susan sees left and trying to see if they can make their way through the smoke, but where is that bomb plant possibly going to come from? They only have 20 seconds left here, and they're still fighting to even control the bomb site, and it's not even going to happen. We've got the raid boss left, and that's the only kill that's going to happen that round for now. It's a great job for Flipside. Waylander with a double kill. Yeah, and that's, that's what they managed to dodge on overpass, Navi, when they picked off Waylander to start with that clever boost from Guardian all the way back in Playground. Here on this round, CT side, Waylander stays alive, and he gets two kills with that P2K. He's so consistent when it comes to CT pistols, Waylander. It's kind of scary how good he is at getting the headshots. So, strong start here for Flipside on train, exactly according to plan. They pick up the pistol, and they aren't messing around either. Three rifles, a UMP, and then World Edit hanging around on that Tech 9, prioritizing the AWP. Exactly what we expect to see out of him. He is basically that primary offer. That's all he wants to do. Edward hoping, I think, to to surprise them with the timing of that push, because he was sort of fairly smooth down the ladder and out, but um, they were certainly ready for it. We've had all deagles on Navi. Edward had one as well, so I'm a big fan of that. I just think it's fun. Yeah, the OG CIS deagle buy. Well, with how good they are here in CSGO, why not, right? Yeah, I, I'm, I don't know if, if tactically it makes sense, but I kind of like it anyway, you know, it's like, that's all right. I guess on train, right, where it's like you have a lot of long open lines, you can try to abuse the headshot mechanic with the deagles, the one-shot headshot at any range, right? So, I mean, I could, I could get it, but just like a Tech 9 or two just sprinkled in for the close combat, right? Yeah. I, I would kind of prefer that as well. See if they can make it in. Guardian has a flash just being put in there, not even going to affect Shara, but the deagles will... Both him and World Edit going down in what looked like the same exact second now. Flamey pushing up here, doing a lot of damage. One more headshot coming in. And it's a two on three favoring Navi. Oh no, flip side. Off to a good start. They can't let go of it now. That grenade goes a little bit too wide. Look at who's sneaking up behind. It's seized. Yeah, and he's actually caught out Markle off in connector. And just in time, Guardian's going to be able to make it back around the train. No kit here for Waylander. If he'd had a kit, he might have had a chance to just go for the defuse right under Guardian's nose. But now seized. He's got all day, and it's an easy kill for him. So Navi, just actually just like on Overpass, except that it's flipped now, right? Flip side win the pistol, and then Navi come right back into it and win the second round. And that might in some ways be uh, worse for flip side. I think you know the, at least the other time they they, they got the three one lead and, and they sort of they managed to do a little bit here. Now they don't really have money, and Navi. I mean, they didn't look worried on overpass. I, I imagine on this map they're going to be even more uh, freewheeling. They, like, why not? Those two kills with the Deagles there, just working out brilliantly for them. And here we go into the A courtyard, very quick indeed. Already spotting out one guy behind the bomb train there. And Guardian having a bit of a fight here, but it's actually Edward and Flamey who pick up a kill each. And make it three versus five. 
I wonder if there's going to be an angle to abuse with that smoking connector. It looked, did look like it went a little wide. Not really going to matter in the end, though. Markaloff is gone, and it's all on World Edit now with that dig, and he's just waiting for somebody to get aggressive, come fighting him, which isn't a bad idea, considering right now, Navi, everybody has a rifle. So if he could actually get a kill and make away with the rifle, that would be a pretty big win for him. But it does look like he's about to get flanked out here by Edward, who's currently on a mission, looking for him through CT. Will he survive? I mean, I don't know. What do you think, Anders? Does he make it? Um, he's sort of hiding out in the open. Like this is not, this is not a this is not a logical place to go and check, you know. So I mean, it's it, it's it's kind of smart, you know. What is this restraint from Navi? I don't think I just don't think like why would you of all the places you check this that is not one of them. So well, I mean, after like nearly having a seizure watching Guardian donate two AWPs in the last map, you know, hunting for people, for them to actually not go hunting for World Edit, that's that's progress. It helps a little bit because they still can't buy on the flip side. So, you know, saving a deagle, probably a little bit, a little bit good. Blade. What could he? Uh, oh, that's world edit. Yeah, I know no, they no, look no, like. Yeah, I know no, they look like. But no, no, I know. I no, no, but I, I was gonna say why. I, what could he come up with here for the for the CT side? Because uh, I think it has to be on him. It has to be on him to figure out something. Um, mm. I'm just. I mean, this this to me feels like where we need to have like the individual plays come through and say, right, world edit, you get the AWP, and now you go and push aggressively. Either you play like Nico does, you go aggressive in upper halls on B, you look for a pick there, because that is part of Navi's standard go-to play. They go and get control exactly there. It's happening right now, Edward and Zeus. They do this almost every single round, right? Into upper halls, clear out upper halls, make some noise over here, perhaps, just to spread out that defense. So, I mean, it's either this, take the, take the AWP up here, or go towards alley, or just hit a magnificent headshot on Zeus. And that's going to work out pretty well. Edward there to guard the rifle, make sure no one can pick it up, and doing a decent enough job. Waylander going down after trading Guardian. And Edward maybe a bit too aggressive. That's going to be a one versus three here, so flip side. See, I was wondering what they would do in the upcoming round when they had rifles, but this time they just kind of surprised us a little bit here. That is one hell of a shot, though, from Flamey taking out World Edit. And he still has a very good shot of winning this 1v2. They do not have armor, and they have to push with the smoke because they don't have kits. So they can't really wait for it to get out as well. Headshot mid-air from Flamey. That's a triple, and that's a quad, and he's going to win the round, making it to a 3-1 scoreline here. So, you know, I think what's, what disappointed me about looking at Overpass is because we said this thing about the domestic matchup, and normally I think if you have a domestic matchup, World Edit, Oh, that's a good shot. Normally, if you have a domestic matchup, the, the, the key is that even though Navi's a better team, Flipside could make up a little bit for that just by knowing some of the tendencies and sort of having, uh, having more practice against them. So maybe they can recognize some of the patterns. And it feels like that's not happening right now. So I, re I, I wish we could see more of that out of Flipside. It's got that long line on main world edit, but it's not going to happen. Instead, it's Navi looking to change up the pace. Guardian goes charging straight down. Shara's there, one for one trade, but world edit is in position with the AWP. He will get a two for one shot, and there's the second kill. But Zeus got tagged down to 15 as well. So it's between Zeus and Seize now for Navi on this B site. They will get the bomb plant. But Flipside now, three players alive here to retake. And they all three have smokes, so that one Molotov from Seized uh, more than likely won't do anything. And that's so disappointing, because if you base your play on this, if you've got Seized on the high ground, and you're thinking, yes, we're going to have a Molotov in there to stop the plant, or sort of the defuse, then, you know, you're kind of putting yourself in a really awkward position. Seized with a good kill, there's the Molotov, and it won't make a difference. The smoke is already going to be up, so that's immediately cast. Oh, oh no! Seized with a no-scope, and now it's a one-on-one. -on -one. Molotov right behind here. Blade down on the bomb inside. The smoke flash goes in. He doesn't have a kit, and Seized is firing through the wrong angle blade is still alive the knife is out oh is he gonna get it there's two seconds left and there it is flip side in the smoke if you use 10 seconds and seized is gonna live but that's such a ridiculous scenario played smiles <laughs> i think that's like a smile of disbelief like how can that happen <laughs> i mean he's just literally sat for 10 seconds and defuse the bomb right under Seized's nose. But I think what's even more impressive is that no-scope from Seized. What was that? That was wild. Unreal kind of play from him, but it is going to be Navi, and they continue with the pressure. Not wasting any time. Straight charge out onto the A site. Zeus opening things up. He finds Waylander. Blade is there to trade. And it's just all over the place. A straight brawl. Somehow Navi come out of man ahead, and Markov gets flanked by Edward. Quick push up towards Alley from him. And now it's all on Shara coming in from Connector from the B site. Not going to get anything done. Edward with a triple kill. Navi, man, they're just not giving Flipside a chance to catch their breath. And 
I don't, it can hardly get any worse. You, you win a round, but you only have one person left, and then you go back to losing. That's essentially what they've just been exposed to here. So very, very uh, rough beginning to this train map here for Flipside. And Navi must be feeling great. This is exactly, I mean, this is going according to plan for Navi. Four rounds at the beginning of the half already. Flipside on two. Hard eco reset here for Flipside. And Flipside, man, some teams, w when they're in a double eco scenario like this, they would go for the four spy. But Flipside, they're willing to actually pace things out. They're just going for pretty much a hard eco. It's only Blade and Waylander who have invested anything at all. Seize might get caught by Blade, but the aim punch with the MAC-10 is there to save him. I'm just going to be charging in to check the bomb site, and it's so low risk to do it, so... Seized being a bit of a team player, not afraid to run into a stack or any kind of a trap or anything like that. Zeus is going to find two people in Pop Dog and take both of them out. And World Edit will be the last one left. Already been discovered by Guardian and not going to live for much longer. I do like the fact that you still have the Pop Dog boxes in Pop Dog. That's so a little part of it remains. They're just on the side there, yeah. Yeah, yeah, behind the fence and everything. They're, they're in there. So I'm sure DJ could find them for us if, uh, if we get an opportunity. A little bit of history still left. How quick is DJ though? Six. Whenever he's five. not looking for chickens to to explode, he's I think he's pretty quick. <laughs> My brain is freezing up there, man. It's like it could go down this path, but it would much rather not. It would actually rather scream, run screaming the other way. So there we go. There we have it. It is three AKs picked up here for Navi, a UMP for Guardian. Sees with a Mac 10, and again. Flip side on eco, they were in a double eco scenario, and look at this Guardian, man. Just goes straight charging in here. Both of the SMGs together, Blade will snuff Seize, but Guardian's there for the trade. And just like that, this is once again Navi in control, although Guardian does get flashed, he gets a little hairy for him, he does find the headshot on World Edit. And that bomb in the meantime is getting planted on the B site. Yeah, and that's the main difference. Guardian could have been in some trouble there, but I think even if he died, then they would still have a pretty good round. Grenade bounces up, and it's... Looked like if Wayland had walked forward, maybe he would have like headbutted the grenade, but um, sadly that didn't work out. So, a scoreline favoring Navi six to two, and I mean finally Flipside have money, but this is already the, this is already a very bad position to be in. And Navi's money is now completely out of control as well. They've got three guys. They started the round with four guys above ten thousand. Edward is still sitting on 13k, and this, this is just perfect if you're Navi, you're just like, well, I, everything's going our way, we've got six rounds on T-side train, we've got mad money, we don't have to worry about ecoing anytime soon. So now you just get to kind of focus up and play your game, and it looks like it's going to be a kind of default play here for Navi. Straight smoke, excuse me, straight smoke execute out onto the A site. Yeah, Seuss quick with the smoke down towards Ivy. And are they actually going to follow up behind it? A wall of smoke going in, and they got the smoke for the train here as well. So just Navi not leaving anything to chance, it seems. But Blade is alive on the other side, and Markolop has picked up a kill with the AWP. It is a double up setup right now, but Blade charging through. That could have very easily been a double kill. Bomb has gone down, yes, but Navi are now two men down. Three men down, in fact. Seuss, not really a lot that he could do from up here. Not wise of him to back off in this situation, actually hold on to that AK for the next round as the bomb gets defused. No problem at all, Zeus will still get a loss bonus. And yeah, that was actually flip side. Looked a little confusing there. When did World Edit actually get into, uh, into it with the, okay, Markolov here. They did go for the double AWP, but it was Markolov to start things off. He caught Seized, and that's the timing that Blade chose to go charging through. Right after that, he goes in and basically takes the fight to Navi. This is, we're actually seeing this a little bit today now. <coughs> These teams, they're struggling with actually capitalizing on the smokes once they get that smoke execute down. They're, they're, like, they get out of A main, but then they don't actually succeed in getting past that onto the train itself to get the plant. Yeah, just a little bit of hesitation. Could have maybe cost them a bit in that scenario. A 2-3 setup, or we have 2 and B and 3 and A. And Guardian and C's are looking to make a play down towards Ivy somewhere. See if they can make it past that smoke eventually. But um, whatever happens here, flip side, they got to win the round. They really don't have any money once again. So they they need to keep winning. Whereas Navi, on the other hand, they have one on 10,000, one on 12,000. Blade with a good start there, taking out Seized. One step in the right direction. And on a completely unrelated note, I just noticed that Guardian actually has a souvenir op with his signature on it, Dragon Lore. I don't even want to know how much that thing costs. Uh, I know. I don't want to know either. 
way, way too much. That's sick. Okay, then, Guardian. High roller. Let's see. 40 seconds left in the round. And Navi, they're going to set up for the B execute now. They do actually seem to have a little bit more luck with the B site right now, so why not? Let's see if they can actually make their way out. There are two players here set up to ruin their day, however, and a third one is very close to rotating over. That's Markloff with the AWP playing from Connector. World at it, holding on the first bomb train, and Shara ready, ready to just drop, and there we go, perfect timing. Goes for the spray on Edward, but it's an instant trade. Zeus, once again there to follow things up. World at it, though, drops the bomb carrier and misses the no-scope. And it's a man advantage now for Flipside going into the retake. A bomb only now just going down. Guardian have to work some magic to make this one work. He does not see the player running around on the other side of the smoke. He was just covering a little bit there. That's a real shame, but there's a good flick taking out Blade, going for the re-peak. Spots a second player, and that's Waylander going down now. One-on-one -on -one Markolov versus Guardian. And of course, it'll be Guardian coming out on top. Triple kill for him, and a seventh round. And again, flip side, they just win individual rounds. They just win a round here and there. And that is maybe the worst way to play the CT side. How much does it hurt for you to say that, though, Anders? Of course, Guardian will out op Markolov. I mean, does a little part of you die every I time mean, you say that? I mean, even though I've, I, you know, fully declare myself to be a Markolov fanboy, that you'd have to be just utterly delusional to think that he could, that he could sort of consistently win fights versus Guardian. But then again, that's true for almost every player in the world. So um, it is true. It is true. I think this is just like a little bit of a special, special, special situation. <sighs> no, I'll be all right. I'll be all right. I, st I, I, st I still think, I think Markov has done pretty well so far in, in, in E League here, but <laughs> look at that. <laughs> oh, well, that is. Oops. He really, he. I'm, I'm not even sure he wanted to hurt Zeus then. I think he actually just wanted to take a peek. Like, hey, guy. Hey. Zeus, I've looked up to you my entire <laughs> CS career. Please. Yeah. Have me on Navi. And obviously Zeus can't have that kind of conversation because Guardian might overhear it, so he had to snuff him. But, yeah. you know, that's how it goes sometimes. Put him out a bit. World is cruel. Not everybody can be cold. Get your picture taken with your hero. What? And then five years later, you're playing with him as, as one of his star players. Not too bad. In some ways, I almost wish that uh, that, that sort of all of Markov's options were, were gone and that he, so the only way for him to come back was to, to sort of boot camp, you know, intent, just, you know, just everything taken from him and then only then does he come back i think it, it has I think, <laughs> I think the problem for, for markolov in his in his global offensive career is that he's always been in such a comfortable place he he makes plenty of money f especially considering the region that he lives in um he keeps making majors he keeps doing quite well for him there is not a lot of incentive for him to to put in the last 15 percent to to make it you know the whole way so right now he's like bruce wayne except that he never lost his parents <laughs> Something like that, just uh, just just in a very good place, I think. So, <laughs> oh, well, you know who's not in a good so place? So oh, oh. Uh, the eye roll there from Sara as well. He's just like, yeah, I just got wrecked. You know why? It's because he knows Thorin is watching. <laughs> Sus, on the other hand, is a bit of a troll right now. 8-3 is the scoreline, and again, we, we are not, we're not seeing anything out of Flipside right now. Uh, not out of Markolov, not out of anybody else that will sort of, that will convince us that this is about to change. 12 kills for Zeus and for Flaney, so both of them doing a really good job right now. Oh, the shots, the shots, I mean, glass getting broken, that's going to set up, facilitate the execute onto the A side, if that's what Navi wants to go towards later on. But once again, straight... Well, not so much the default, because they are collapsing quite quickly towards the B halls. Everybody from Navi actually heading over here right now early on. But they are going to commit a Molotov to the back corner here to make sure that nobody's playing with the AWP up there, looking for a peek. Instead, it's Edward once again, ready to lead the charge. Zeus will surely have his back. We'll have to see if Navi can actually just commit out onto this site. They have changed up their positioning somewhat here, flip side, although Shara is holding from the site itself a little bit lower this time. World that it is holding closer to connectors. So we'll see if that new position works for him with the AWP. It's gonna have to. It's kind of now or never. I mean, even eight rounds is a bit too much, but they need to win everything from here on out. And Shara gonna be going down. World that it did take one with him, but Edward's getting very close right now, and he doesn't get a chance. Looked like that was just a bit of a prayer, and Edward just charging in here, getting kill after kill, and that's a third for him, leaving Blade alone. And Navi just utterly without respect in this matchup. And why Why would they have any? I mean, are we gonna... Uh, they seem like better high fives. They've upgraded their high fives. Yeah, that was, that was a little bit better. The, 
Flamey. Flamey actually has just like the shadow of a grin going as well, which is interesting because he never shows emotion. Very, very good stuff overall from, uh, from Edward in that round. 9-3 and the 13th round coming up. And again, a flip side. Surprise, they're back to pistols. Again, they won the first round, the fourth round, and then the... What's that, the ninth round or something like that? They're, they're just in a terrible position right now. Not not any consecutive rounds being put on the board right now. That, uh, that rarely happens, but when it does, you, you get a real clear picture of uh, just what the economy means in this game. Yes, Edward is the one. Shot there, Markolov is gone. Flamey will be the one to best him. A team ace for Navi, everybody picking up a kill in this anti-eco. And it's 10 to 3. Navi, T side train right now, showing no respect, just rolling right over flip side. And yeah, Waylander, nobody's looking too pleased right now on flip sides, uh, on their side right now. Flip side's side. Waylander actually just looks like he's wondering I left Gambit for this? <laughs> that might be a bit harsh, but um, I mean. It's definitely, it's also just a different flip side from the one we were seeing yesterday. Like, they were playing with uh, a lot more intensity than they are right now. It's, it's all looking a bit disjointed, really. Like, I'm not seeing much teamwork. There are, there's nobody flashing each other in a lot, you know, like, no big, no, no big plays like that coming through. Shara's up on that ladder again, and he did it last time, but last time he just went in, like, you, someone could have flashed him in from the bomb side. There, there, there's not a lot of teamwork. Again, even here, he could get flashed in, but he will pick up a kill on one, and not going to get the second there. And well, that it will plainly just miss an open shot there. That was, that was a bit silly. Oh, we might get the boost. I like it. Oh, yes. Go up the ladder. Go up the ladder. Come on, Markov. So you guys can see now, Right Markle off that train that he just passed on his right side. Edward is looking to see if he'll actually go up to the top of that train, right? It's a pretty clever boost. Not every day that we actually get to see it work. Man, they're just good at hitting headshots right now, flip side, but they aren't really good at confirming the kill. So unfortunately, it means that Navi have a man advantage now going onto that A site, and Markoloff has to rotate back. That HE, though, could be so valuable for him. He's just tapping away Flamey, though. And we're into a two-on-two. -two. Everybody's so low on HP. Oh, the grenade is just a little bit too early. Otherwise, that would have probably denied the bomb there. Sue's taking out Markolov and World Edit alone. One on two, trying to clutch it here. 20 seconds left, and he's going to walk through the smoke. I mean, could have maybe worked out, but Sue's instead with a triple kill, and we're looking at 11-3, going into the 15th round, the last of the half here. Navi, very, very much in control of this match, like they were on overpass two. Yeah, actually, you know, Navi haven't really looked pressured at all. Astralis should take notes, you know, when they, when they play Danish teams, sometimes uh, it gets a little hairy. Right now, Na'Vi, man, they're, they're, they are clearly showing that they are the top team from their division. No, not the division, region, obviously. So, Na'Vi just looking very good. Full flash on Edward, though, that's always a little frustrating. He's just running out there, right on the edge of the smoke. Does not manage to actually walk into Waylander's waiting arms, but Seized will find World Edit. So that's Pop Dog clear. Blade will take out Flamey, but the instant trade comes out. Waylander finally steps into the fight only to get rocked by Guardian. Two versus three. And since Seized has taken over the B bomb site, that means they can just rotate more or less safely in there. And when Shara comes back to peek out and see what's going on, he's gonna get shot in the back, and this is not a good uh, position. I mean, there's, there's nothing that's working for Flipside, and what's annoying is they don't seem to have any, of, at any point seem to have had the conversation that says, how do we how do we decide what we want to do? You know, right now they're just, they're just reacting to what Navi are doing. There's almost no initiative. There's no attempt to say, you know what? In this round we're gonna do something, and then hopefully it works. And if they just like if they just they're not they're not doing anything. It's a little bit frustrating to watch. No, they just they yeah they. It's that kind of default CT setup. They just sit on the site. And we were seeing that on overpass as well. Sometimes I mean at least on overpass. No, not even on overpass. Really, there wasn't too much. Uh, push coming out from flip side but yeah you're right here on ct side train waylander doing a, a broken bobblehead impression there and it is going to be a short break here at the half before we get into the second half to see if navi will be able to pick up the remaining four rounds nice and neat or if flip side can show us some fight
And we have returned here for E League. It's, uh, it's flip side and Navi for a minute. I was forgetting who's playing. It is a match, Andrew. It's, yeah, it's, it's, the reason is it's because only one of the teams is actually playing. Flip side have gone on vacation and Navi just plainly winning all the rounds. So um, it's, hard, it's hard, to, hard to keep track of really what's happening. Just hit them while they're down, man. You know, give them a good kick, <laughs> put them out of their misery. See, this is the scientist, Professor Blade, that we were talking about earlier. <laughs> 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 Except that, you know, this works out perfectly because for me right now, he looks wait. like Dr. Jekyll. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, so the and problem is... we need Mr. Hyde now, Blade. The problem is, in this picture, he does look slightly like he's tried some of his own chemicals. <laughs> so there's, some, there's definitely something that's gone horribly wrong here. What a great picture. Oh, God. 12 to 3. And we do have an audience uh, here as well, which is very good Woo! news. Definitely appreciate that. Sick. This is um this is gonna be a tough, tough game for Flipside. If there's any chance of a comeback, it will have to start with a pistol round. They do have four armors and then a little bit of a grenade on blade, but he's not gonna get a chance to do anything with it. Goes down immediately. Flamey trying to guard that corner, not gonna work out. So still a 1v1 trade. No, Flamey, wow, C's just standing his ground looking for the shots. Only landing one bullet. Edward is gonna find the headshot on Markloff, but he's instantly traded by Waylander, who now has a USP to play with, and that's gonna hurt Navi. Zeus and Guardian, though, still full HP. And flip side, they've been beaten up, and they finally get that bomb planted. So now it comes down to whether Zeus and Guardian can make it happen here for Na'Vi. Zeus has the kit. They both have Kevlar. Still have a little bit of time to work with here. And Guardian starts off the fight. Boris is world headed back into Zeus, but somehow world headed finds that kill. Now this is an almost impossible situation for Guardian to capitalize off of. He does not have a kit. They're all, both of them, sitting on the site itself, and he just has no time to work with. We'll find one kill on Waylander. But that's it. He decides to back off, save the Kevlar, and it just all falls through here for Na'Vi. Yeah, I mean, that looked very winnable for a while, but then time simply ran out, and um, finally something working out in favor of Flipside. Guardian's so savvy. Went back to pick up the kid after the bomb blew it over, blew it over to his side of the room. Now, the next step, buy a smoke, wait in a bomb site. What's up, Sparkles? I wish someone would do that. 12 to 4, and moving into the 17th round, we do have three Deagles, one 5.7 and one CSET 75, and some armor being picked up as well. So Navi, not afraid at all to invest into this round. And again, they haven't had any reason to. So far, they've, they've just been uh, cruising through both these maps, really. Hmm. Oh, yeah. But this is the difference, right? Look at Guardian. He just instantly pushes out the alley. Like, I've got a Deagle. I can hit one Deags. He's my best friend. I've got him on speed dial. But uh, right now, he seems to be out to lunch because he's not answering. Guardian, down to half HP. Not going to find anything there. And now Navi are down a man. Flip side, though, still very patient. Look at this. They even play patient up in the brown halls as well. Not ta you know, just taking their time. There's the flash. And Seas just doesn't know what hit him. And that's going to instantly lose another bomb site. Not really much of a comeback possible at this point in time. So just save the rest, I think, is the best, the smarter choice. Flamey is moving closer. I guess he doesn't have armor to save, but I would still say the Deagle is well worth saving. So looking for an exit or two, and that's not going to happen. So instantly falling back. Um, we'll at least make it 5-12 here in, uh, in favor of Navi still, but flip side, trying their very best. Oh. Actually, I hope it's not their very best. I feel like their very best is... Uh, it's not what we've seen today. Yeah, exactly. If this is their very best standards, they've got a lot of work to do. Because, well, I mean, just the gap right now. Well, it, it is also the gap. I mean, you're talking about maybe like a top 16 team versus a top 3 team. There's quite a gap. Nearly a gulf between the separating the two. Guardian will be able to find the party shot on Waylander, and Edward takes out Markloff. No chance to recover the gun, though. That's unfortunate. A shot in the back by Blade. Uh, ends up being a slightly expensive round anyway there for, uh, for flip side. It's a little bit annoying. But now, they should be uh, in a very good position. We've got Markov with the Mac 10 and Waylander. Does he want to buy it and try and make the money, or is he going to save for the AWP? It seems like maybe he will. But um, I hope they're going to use Markov as, a, as an entry. In fact, well, Waylander is going to go straight for the AK. I was wondering maybe if he was going to try and drop it for World Edit later on. Just, you know, have one guy save up for it, but not going to be the case. And uh, that's a good shot from Seize. In fact, they're trying to see if they can charge Shara down as Edward comes up the ladder, steals the gun, and runs away. That's two AKs now for them to work with. World Edit will take out Edward in the end. Still, Zeus and Seize managed to make it out. Guardian still has his Kevlar with his Deagle, and he's sitting on that A site. He's wondering, where are my teammates? This is about to get messy over here. Two players, including the bomb, have worked their way out close to the site. Markov. 
Well, doesn't realize that Blade, his protector, was watching over him that day. Saved his life. It's a long range shot coming through there as Blade goes down, but Flamey, not quite covered by the smoke, ends up dropping in a good double kill for World Edit, leaving Seuss entirely alone here. The bomb is down, has no kit, has no armor, and no grenades, so this is going to be a very near impossible retake here, especially because they do have a Molotov and everything else to work with. Going to be World Edit with a triple kill. And that puts flip side at 6-12. So they're creeping up into a good position. Oh, what a shot that was. That's unbelievable. That was pretty slick. Nicely done, Seized. 14 to 12 right now. Not the dominant performance that we saw from him yesterday. He definitely did mo the most work for Na'Vi in yesterday's matches. But today he, he isn't exactly, you know, lagging behind. In fact, everybody's fairly close on Na'Vi's side right now. All of them in the mid-teens. Nobody really taking off. Nobody really, you know, uh, holding the team up. So it's good to see right now, Na'Vi just firing on all cylinders. Yeah. On the other side, though, on the flip side, you might even say, <laughs> uh, we do have Shara at the bottom of the scoreboard. Guardian taking out Waylander as he was just uh, like a gentleman trying to have a, a, a polite fight with Edward, and Guardian just stops it right away. Um, double up setup also for Na'Vi, and again, I think at this point they're just they're just you know in in closing mode. They just want to end this game. Bouncing on the edge, Blade. Don't do it. Mm. It's not worth it. You have so much to live for. <laughs> Waiting. Well, Daddy, look at where he is right now with the bomb. If he dies here, the, the well, yes. Thank you, World Edit. Whoa! How did that shot miss? Now Seize has got a beat on him. Knows that World Edit, man, just hunts him down. World Edit misses a golden opportunity. That's the second time, at least. So far on this map that we've seen him miss a shot that he really should be hitting. That's frustrating. That's really, I mean, limiting Flipside. That's kind of been the story. The story for them this entire map is just that, yes, okay, they might have the right idea. They're going for defaults, but if you're going to play like that, you really need to hit the shots when given the chance. And right now, we're just not seeing them win these duels. Navi are the ones who are coming out pretty far ahead. Guardian going to miss a shot, but he gets a follow-up on Blade. And he knows that Markoloff is coming out through A main, that Blade wasn't alone at this point. That smoke goes up. And Guardian looking to just find some kind of gap that he can abuse here. Not hitting Markolov though. So one kill going in their favor. Shower stepping up as well. Picking up one kill, but it will be seized in Edward. Closing out the round. And uh, heading for 13 6 scoreline. Both the AWPs will be saved. And flip side, they have money to buy. Not for everybody, but enough that they could spread it around a little bit here. It's kind of, it's now or never, I think. Oh yeah, there's no no more room to give here. You have to go in. You can't let Navi get up to 14 rounds. When you're sitting on six rounds on T-side train, that's, that's, there's just no more room for error. And so two Tech Nines, three rifles, handful of nades, and a whole lot of hope, maybe. Maybe not so much hope, grit, determination. That's what they need here, Red flip side. Yeah, I don't I don't actually think hoping ever makes a difference in, in, any, in any scenario, sadly. But um, we do have three AKs and two Tech Nines and Blade. Trying to see if he can maybe spray through the smoke, and he does a lot of damage to Zeus, but can't quite find the kill, which would have been such a nice start for them to execute into the bomb side. Every single member of Navi is uh, rotating in, though, so now they're fighting the full CC side here. Blade with a good kill, Seize actually up on the high ground, actually down in the C connector, picking up two good kills, and there's a no scope to close it off. Seize just absolutely on fire here in the 20th round, and right now, yeah, doing a pretty good job trying to catch up to the. Actually, he's top fragging right Dude, now. He's just nuts right now. That's the second sick no-scope that we've seen him hit so far. I mean, it's been long enough. It seems like players now are finally getting to that point where they can control the AWP when it isn't scoped. That is not an easy thing to do in CSGO. But beautiful work from him. He's clearly been putting in the hours. Although some would say easier than it should be. <laughs> when that's a debate. Yeah, that's a debate that pops up all the time I've seen now on Reddit. People talk about that. I mean, if you want a no-scope when your feet are on the ground, okay. But if you're actually jumping, there should be like your bullet should just vanish. You shouldn't be killing anything jumping with an op. Yeah, but even when you're even when your feet are on the ground, it's very accurate compared mm. to to a lot of things. Ooh. Inception here. Look to the left. Wait. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I Not like gonna work. It. I can understand if you want a couple of uh, shots of the studio because it is looking really cool. It's such a nice studio. Still is. 15 to 6 is what we're looking at as a scoreline. It is map point in favor of Na'Vi. Um, and do remember, of course, this is not our final game of the day. We do have All-American Echo Fox still going to be playing later on. 
Um, so that would be interesting. Seized. Scoped up here, looking for someone to cross there. Right on the other side, gonna try and make a pass at it. And Waylander does get tanked up. Almost a fair trade there, but um, could have been worse, I think, for Waylander. It's a bit scary for Seize, though. He realizes, obviously, they got past, and so now he has to worry about the upper, the high ground. He backs off to, gives a little, to give a little bit more room here so he doesn't get fully caught out. Misses the shot, puts it into the side of the train. And that means the bomb will get planted. We're going to get into a real nasty situation here, though. A five-on-five five retake, that's never fun. A good shot from Edward taking out Markov, and that's so huge because now they could be flanked. Essentially, Flipside are boxed in, even if they're on a 4v4. And I don't think Wayland have realized his feet were showing then. Flamey with a fairly easy shot following up on Shara as well, and World did it hiding in the smoke, trying to be the ultimate ninja. But I think they've actually already seen him enter there, and that's going to be Flamey going down. World did it trying his best. But that was a one on four, and it's not going to happen. It will be 16 to six as Navi take out Flipside on map two. Yeah, just dominant performance from Navi. And actually, this has been a bit of a theme as well here so far in this group phase. Sure, it's it's fairly even on maps, but score-wise, I think this is like the what the fifth or sixth time that we've seen a 16-6 score line. So it's it's either a very close affair or one team is getting bodied off the server. And this time, it just happens to be Flipside, who've had a bit of a bit of a rough time here. So, I mean, now Navi, that was a key map for them to win, to win decisively. Now they're in the running for first seed here in the group. Yeah, and that really is what we expect out of them. That's what everyone was thinking coming into this, that that would be the case. We are going to have a bit of a breakdown of how these two maps played out, but it will be after a quick commercial break.